You're listening to the Kilcullen Diary Podcasts. Stories and sound from a village grown bigger. Hello, I'm Brian Byrne and this is Kilcullen Diary. A passion for good food and a pharmacy background of advising people over 25 years on their nutrition were the ingredients that prompted Kilcullen woman Michelle Reddy to cook up her own nutrition and health consultancy. Mabel Nutrition and Health is now located in Kilcullen Community Centre, where Michelle is available by appointment to advise on all aspects of the benefits of a good food plan for health, family life and sport. She says she grew up a real foodie and always wanted to know the health benefits of the food that she ate. As she says, whenever someone in her family had a cold coming on, she was the one who set about making soup or a stew to build up immunity against it. I asked her where did that come from. I suppose growing up, um, you know, mammy is quite cook. So you get it from your family, really. I'm a firm believer, children, is, you know, monkey see, monkey do. If, if, there's, if you're surrounded by good food, um, you know, and the family eating together, you grow up like that. You grow up knowing good food and wanting good food, knowing the benefits of good food. Um, and that was me. That was always like that. You know, I would bake. I wouldn't buy buns. I would bake buns. Or I would, you know, I love just whole foods. You know, good, proper, decent food. And that's what we're Irish. That's the way we, that's what we know. And to bring that back to families. And that's what I want to do. This is the era where the Irish people have embraced the concept of convenient foods, often because they're time poor and work stressed and just grabbing quick meals full of processed ingredients. Michelle is convinced that these have a negative impact on people's health and is far from what used to be the case in Irish families. And apart from grabbing quick ready-made food, the actual stress of so often eating on the run has its own impact. Oh, the way you eat has such an impact on your digestive system. So it's it's not just about what you eat, it's about when you eat, the way you eat it, where you eat, and racing around. And people, you have to sit down, you have to know what you're eating, um, and be aware of your surroundings and enjoy what you're eating. Because then your body will realise, you know, actually I'm going, to, I'm going to enjoy this food, I want this food, I'm ready for this food. Because there is that good brain, you know, access where your, your digestive system and your brain have to work together for your body to absorb the nutrients it needs. And of course, stress. Stress is a big thing as well. And unfortunately, at the moment, stress has such an impact on people's lives with everything that's going on. So, um, you know, the, the, the need to manage their stress levels. So that means just stepping away for a minute, go out, take a few deep breaths and step back into the situation. There's a real issue around processed foods and snacks that, for many people who may not be so well off, they can be seen as the cheaper option. In practice, that's not really the case. It's not true. It's absolutely not true. You could go to a supermarket and buy a bag of... uh, The basic, basic ingredients, a bag of carrots, for, you know, 40 cents, 40 cents, whatever they are, you know, and a few onions, a few greens... They don't cost a lot. They will cost less than the jar, a jar of, um, you know, bolognese or whatever, you know, a convenience jar. And you'll get a full week out of that. You'll get a full week out of a bag of carrots, a bag of onions, just you know, your cabbage or piece and all, as opposed to one meal, one processed meal out of a jar that you would buy. So it's a, it's a way of thinking, and that's what I do as well. You know, I help people... Um, with their shopping. I read labels for people also because there's a lot of hidden sugars and hidden fats and people don't realise just what's hidden in what they eat. So uh, I, I read labels for people, read what's on them. Because the people are stuck, they don't know what. They think they might be eating well and they're going for, you know, the, the healthy, in inverted commas, healthy bars. But they're full of hidden sugars and fats and stuff. You know, I have to say as well, we are living in a society, Brian, where, you know, cardiovascular disease, blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, they're all very common these days. And they're conditions that can actually be prevented if people, you know, have the right nutrition, the proper exercise and learn how to deal with stress. 
Deciding to take the whole thing further than just advising in her daily job in Bernie's pharmacy, Michelle enrolled on a course of study with the Irish Institute of Nutrition and Health to become a nutrition and health coach. That completed, she set about establishing it as a further career choice and inaugurated Mabel Nutrition and Health last year. It's been in the pipeline now for a long time, a few years now, but then COVID kicked in and I became um, a teacher, as <laughs> a lot of parents did, you know, when the school were during lockdown. So I just parked it to one side during during COVID. And um, so it's been going on a few years now where this has been a passion of mine to do this. So when everything, when the country started opening up again, I just said to my husband, this is it now. I said, I can't park this any longer because it was just eating away at me. And I'm not getting any younger. So I just said, no, I have to do this. This is just my passion to do this. And I set up that and I, I went online and I spoke to Richard up in the IINH where I studied. And, um, you know, I told him where I worked and what I was doing. And, and that was actually before COVID I was speaking to him. So I kept in contact with him. And yeah, then I just... It's the bullet, as to say, and went for it last year. And it's been you know, a roller coaster since then. Michelle is still working part time in Bernie's Chemists, but she also has a room at the community centre from where she can give people private consultations on an appointments basis. She can devise solutions for nutrition issues for men, women, and families who may be struggling to change their diet and their lifestyle habits in order to become healthier. She also offers specialist sports nutrition programs for athletes. All her work is based around healthy recipe ideas. But proper nutrition and exercise are also important in a particular interest area of Michelle's, menopause support. I do think it's a very important issue and I think a lot of women are embarrassed to talk about it. When women get together, they tend to um, support each other and talk about it and it brings a lot of people out so yeah a lot of women out united we can support each other empower each other and women loved and they do talk and i do i have found that you know found that when i'm speaking to women they, they uh, it brings them out and they're going yeah i didn't really want to say that but yeah i agree with you or somebody else will say something and a woman will go actually i was very embarrassed about you know that particular condition but they, they talk about it then you know and, and i'm really passionate about that one So she's now hosting seminars to explain menopause, hormones, crash days, digestive issues and how healthy foods and exercise and stress management advice can help. But most of all, Michelle is providing a wide ranging nutrition and health service for everyone. Choosing the name Mabel Nutrition and Health had a two way reasoning. Mabel means my beautiful, but also those of a certain vintage would know the song Michelle Mabel. And that was always sang to me. So when I was trying to um, decide a name, um, I wanted a personal. And it just dawned on me then, oh my God, my beautiful. You know, people are always saying Michelle Mabel. But uh, yeah, so that's where Mabel came from. Ah, vraiment. Ils sont les mots qui vont très bien ensemble. And my apologies for rather injuring the French language. Michelle can be contacted on 87 or email mabelnutrition at gmail.com. I'm Brian Byrne. This is Gagolan Diary. Thank you for listening.